Hello, everybody, and welcome to our on-screen tutorial for this week. This week, we're going to be chatting about content ideas for social media. Last week, we were chatting about creating content for social media. Last week, I shared this slide, and I will do so the same this week as I do in my webinars very often with all of our customers who join us for learning. The saying really, really resonates with me as an e-commerce entrepreneur, and I hope that it does the same for you as you walk this journey of creating and sharing content with your followers online. People do not buy goods and services. They buy relations, stories, and magic. This is by Seth Godin, who is a global marketing guru. And I encourage you to go and have a look about all that he has to offer online to help you with learning about marketing and e-commerce. So think about this when you are preparing and sharing content that customers want to find you amidst all the noise, all the virtual noise out there. How are they going to find you? And that is to have a wonderful balance between selling product information, business information, but also engaging, reaching out and tapping into having a relationship with your customers, as well as threading a story of magic throughout your business. That is what they will notice and they will feel, and that's how they will find you and stay with you online. So we're going to go to the slide all about content ideas, which we can apply to all of our social media platforms. Apart from LinkedIn, we might have to tweak this a little bit for LinkedIn, but certainly for Instagram, Pinterest, and Facebook, as well as TikTok, here are some really cool content ideas that we certainly focus on and thread throughout our feeds on a weekly basis. You might want to think about having various introductory posts about your business. Don't overload people immediately. Give them a little bit. Just rip it through your feed. Just little crumbs about your business. All the different departments, what each department does, all the different characters in the business, all the behind the scenes information that's lighthearted and interesting to help your followers get a feeling for what's happening behind the scenes. You might also want to include some teaser content about some products soon to be on their way, landing in SA or landing in their country that they can then take up and enjoy within their homes or in their business environments. So include some teaser content. Obviously, you want to be including product or service posts about your business, but always remember the 80-20 rule. 80% should be informational and 20% should be a direct hard sell. You're welcome to have subtle little selling moments throughout the feed during the week, but do remember that you should only have 20% as a direct hard sell. Don't forget the customers do actually know what it is that you were doing. You know, when they've been following you for a while, you don't need to keep telling them what it is that you sell. They will know that. And obviously, they're looking out for something that's different within your range that they then want to snap up on that offer or those products as soon as they arrive. Another big obsession um, that I have personally as an e-commerce entrepreneur and where there's so much emphasis nowadays are with customer reviews, text, text reviews, but also video reviews. So see if you can make that a top priority to get as many reviews as you can. Because remember, customers actually care what other customers think about your products or your service. So that's really important. You might also want to think about having some very, very short videos running through your feed. That's very important nowadays as well, as well as content repurposing or user-generated content. This is key. How that works is basically when you go onto an expert's page, not a competitor, it would be an expert within your field, 
of the products or services that you sell. And maybe they have a post that has performed extremely well and therefore it is ranking organically quite high. You could share that to your Facebook or Instagram page and include a shout out to the person who you have taken the post from and share that with your own customers. It's a nice, sneaky, cheeky way of having some nice, interesting content coming through your feed with minimal effort. And it also raises the credibility of your page. But do remember to acknowledge the person or entity from wherever you have shared the post from. So include a shout out to them, please. Also think about engaging content and asking your customers and followers questions. Reach out, try to get them to start a conversation with you. You know, try to get them to respond to questions and be, be, uh, propose a thought starter question. That's something to think about as well. There are also announcements. Maybe something's changing within the business or something big is happening Positively, you know, a new avenue that you're venturing to add, to bring to your customers. So you can also include announcements in your content schedule. Something that's really trending at the moment is the unwrapping of online shops or products or shoes or clothing, handbags, sunglasses, whatever. That's something that is quite nice to include in your feed of customers who have sent you an unwrapping video that's short and sweet and shows them opening the packaging and looking at the new item that they have received. Let's also remember about inspirational, aspirational and motivational posts. We like to do that on a Monday, but just make sure that it's not it's not too heavy, it's lighthearted, it's helpful and it's not it's not too heavy for the followers to read, but I think everybody likes something positive and upbeat to enjoy on a Monday for sure. You could also have meet the team posts, probably not something coming through every week, but occasionally, uh, it depends how many employees you have, but you might want to be introducing your team to all of the followers so they get used to the people who they're chatting with on the phone, the call center, the people who are picking and packing their orders, who are maybe making the products, whatever it is that you are selling, and the team behind the business, introduce them to your followers. People love to see pictures of other people, and there's always statistically more engagement on the posts where people are visible. You can also include some answers to frequently asked questions this is something that we have as a series running through our feed. And it's just a way of, again, dripping into the feed all of the answers to frequently asked questions so that as the customers are scrolling through your feed, if that's what they still do, on a subliminal level, they are learning about your business. And therefore, it lessens unnecessary calls to your call center or your landline where you need to be repeating yourself all the time. It definitely works, and it's nice to have that coming through the feed once a week or every other week, depending on how many different anxious related questions you, you tend to get. Um, only you would know that. So I hope you have found these content ideas helpful and that you can um, incorporate this into your own content strategy and your focus Thank you for joining me today and I look forward to sharing with you again next week.